Good Monday morning, March 25th, 2024, April 8th, the total eclipse of the sun. We're going to get into that in just one moment here. But first, I want to thank, I've been so busy with our ministry uh, and outreach to the homeless. I want to thank um, my funny bunny, Nancy. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? For our pastor and family. I love this so much. And uh, a gift to our ministry of $100. Look at the bunnies. Look at the bunnies. My other friend that loves a bunny is Kimmy. And this is just uh, so, so beautiful. And thank you so much. I'm going to put it up on our wall uh, as soon as I'm done with this video. And I want to thank um, the Chapman family, Monica Chapman, for a gift to our ministry and outreach to the homeless of $100 this morning. Amen and amen. Now, I've been saying, we're going to talk about this um, alleged, I'm going to say alleged, solar eclipse of the sun on April 8th. I've been talking in the, for some time that the seasons are off. I even did a video a number of years ago where, where I was at work and the sun is not setting. It rises in the east and sets in the west. It wasn't setting due west. It was off. The sun, the calendars are off. Now, for this eclipse to, to take place, the sun and the moon are going to have to be together and, and be in Pisces. But on April 8th, the sun is going to be in Aries. Here is where the planets are going to be aligned, using my hands as an example, on April 8th in uh, Aries, when they need to be in Pisces to block out the sun. I've been saying some, for some time on this channel that the seasons are off, talking about, and if you're my age or the same age or around my age and... Uh, uh, remember the 50s? I don't remember the 50s. I remember the 60s and the 70s, but um, we didn't have chemtrails in the sky. We were laying as a kid, laying on your back, looking up at the sky. I used to look up and look at the clouds and try to find different shapes in the clouds of different animals. And knowing my mom was up in heaven, we'd never seen anything like chemtrails, never seen anything like the, the chemtrails that are in the sky that are children that lay in the grass and look up at the sky they, they they can't even see the cloud they're seeing crisscrosses of uh, chemtrails and um i always said the seasons are off and uh march what you, you remember this you the little airplanes you fly and you know the rubber band and you wind up the propeller little parachute men you would throw up in the sky and they would come down and it was kite flying season all of the stores, all of the stores were selling kites. And we would go out with a sweater on in March and fly our kites. April, Easter, everyone went out in the Easter parade. That's where they're all dressed up. It might be rainy sometime on Easter, but you would usually be out in the sunshine, spring in the air. You could see the flowers are starting to bloom in April and uh, you would go out in what's called the Easter parade in your Sunday best for Easter. Now we're, we just, it's March 25th, just two days ago, we had a snowstorm here. We weren't flying kites. No kids are flying kites in March. They're flying kites in May. April, remember the movie, April Love will slip right through your fingers. And it, it, it's snowing in April. There's ice storms and snowstorms in April. We don't see begin to see any sign of spring until May, sometimes mid-May. The seasons are off. Something is drastically off. And for us to have a total eclipse of the sun, we would have to be on what's called an inert plane, uh, where the Earth is sitting still as the sun and the moon come together. Um, we wouldn't be on a globe. Uh, but the biggest thing, what is going to happen on April 8th? 
according to the calendars and the, the lunar and the solar calendars and the Orion, and you can even get this online, that on April 8th, the sun and the moon are going to be in, in Pisces. They're going to be apart. They're not going to come into a total alignment. Um, something to think about. What could be blocking the sun? What's going to block the sun on April 8th if it's not uh, the moon? Could it be Nibiru? Planet X? Let me know what do you think. Leave me comments, everyone. And if you find it in your heart to support this ministry, PayPal and the links will be below. What's coming? And the name of the star was Wormwood.